You can't see the laser beam, but that's what's hitting this unmanned drone, burning into it like a blowtorch. The beam was fired from a U.S. Navy destroyer. This will indeed be the first real-world deployment of a directed energy weapon. According to Rear Admiral Matthew Clunder, Chief of Naval Research, the laser weapon will be deployed in the Persian Gulf, where Iranian speedboats and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs for short, sometimes harass U.S. Navy ships. If we have to provide some type of weapon system against a small fast boat or UAV, this would be the system. This is what the laser can do to an outboard motor. The beam is able to stay on its target despite the bobbing of the waves. Turn down the power and it can fire a warning shot or blind a spy camera trying to take pictures. We can actually dazzle that sensor and degrade it completely. We can actually almost turn it off. The laser won't work against high-speed targets like incoming missiles or jet fighters, and bad weather can distort the beam. But it costs just $40 million to develop and build over six years and has the potential to revolutionize both the economics and technology of warfare, which today relies on weapons like the Sidewinder missile at nearly half a million dollars a shot. When we shoot one pulse of directed energy, laser energy, it's about one dollar. It's actually a little less than a U.S. dollar compared to something that right now may take thousand dollars, maybe in a million dollars. Think of that there for a second. The laser, a weapon which shoots out at the speed of light, is due to arrive in the Persian Gulf next year. Remarkable. David, thank you.